G'day, how are you? Welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. Alrighty, so spring's just around the corner. If not, it's here already. And uh, the Renault, mate, that's in a couple of weeks time. So I wanna make sure the Scott Bonner's good to go for when we're ready to start laying down some stripes. So uh, we're gonna backlap this old gill today. Um, so backlapping shouldn't replace a good grind. So for me, I sent this away last year and I uh, only really mow once a week for say half a season. So that's 25 mows at best. So I'm not gonna send it away every year for a grind. So what we can do is give it a, a quick back clap so that we're not going back every year and getting a little bit of value for money. All right, so we're at the business end of the mower today. So it's wicked mad important to remove our spark plug lead. This is where fingers are kept or lost. So uh, make sure we're undoing that one, eh? Tuck him right out the road. Alrighty, so uh, first thing we're gonna do is check and see how it's cutting. So it's not really cutting on the right hand side. It's cutting in the middle. It's mostly cutting on the right hand side. What we're gonna be doing is introducing a paste between the bed knife and the reel. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is probably back that off just a little bit. We don't wanna go removing too much material all at once. So what I wanna do is, is back it off and then we'll run it for a bit, grind away a little bit and then uh, and then maybe adjust it down just a little bit, give it a little bit more of a grind, and then um, and then wash it off and see how it's cutting. All right, let's get to it, eh? Alrighty. So this side of my mower was really um, cutting paper, whereas the other side wasn't. So I'm just gonna leave that side, um, but I'm gonna adjust up this side here. So whenever we're making a, an adjustment to our reel, what I like to do is maintain one eighth of a turn at every point. That way you can kind of keep track of what you're doing and uh, it doesn't get away from you and it's not too unbalanced. So say for example, quarter turns here on this side and half uh, turns on this side, it, it tends to get out of whack real quick. So whenever we're doing anything, I'd like to do it at one eighth of a turn. So whenever we're adjusting these, what we're actually doing is we're adjusting the reel to the bed knife. So the bed knife is uh, locked in position. So what we wanna do is, uh, is back this nut off here, then adjust this screw here. So let's get in and have a look, eh? Now we just want to back that off. We don't want to loosen it right off so that you know it's the, the nut's hanging off. What we want that to do is still provide a little bit of friction so that we're only making minor adjustments to our nut. All right, now we're going to do the same on the other side. All right, with our screwdriver, we're going to turn this to the left to help bring our reel up off of the bed knife. Just one eighth of a turn. If we can hear that, we're barely contacting at all. Just ever so slightly nicking. Let's double check that, eh? I go another eighth of a turn. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to remove the cover and get into some grinding. Alrighty, here we are inside of our chain cover. So as you can see, it's all nicely clean and lubed up, ready for this year. Uh, if you missed the servicing video, I'll uh, attach it somewhere. You can go back, have a look, Ron. Alright, so uh, let me just take you through how all of this works real quick. So when our engine's running, we've got our clutch here. We engage our clutch thusly. <laughs> and what happens is this cone comes into contact with a, uh, a cork clutch. That way it gets the friction it needs to start spinning this shaft here. So this shaft then spins this chain, which then in turn spins this chain. So they're, they're always on. So if I grab my drill here, we can see that the reel was always on. It was, it was locked on. There was, there's nothing we can do about that once our, once our clutch is engaged. But why wasn't the drum turning and the mower taken off? 
So, um, inside here we've also got another clutch cork fitting. So when we pull our, when we pull our clutch lever, uh, a cork in here is then engaged again. We get the friction and then it drives this chain down the bottom and then the real mower will get going. So, uh, so that's how all of that works. So, um, look, nothing to be afraid of. You know, it's, it's all wicked mad simple uh, once you've been shown how and, and you've had a look for and a play for yourself. All right, so when we're back lapping, you can target either nut. So you can target this one, or you can target this one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the reel's always gonna be spinning. So um, whatever might make it easier for your ergonomics in the situation when you're grinding. All right, let's tip this one up and get, get going. All right, here's our, oh. Okay, here's our grinding paste here. So uh, you might be able to see that. It's, it's, just a, it's just a paste, a gel with some abrasive in it. So that abrasive is what's gonna just ever so slightly um, grind our reel and our bed knife nice and evenly. So when we're doing that, we want our, um, we want our reel running in reverse. That's, uh, that's quite important because we don't want to put a burr on the wrong end of the thing. So we can see there, the, the reel's running in reverse. So I've got my drill set in, in the forwards. So if, if I was drilling something, I'd be in the forwards motion actually putting a hole in something. So uh, if I was to put the drill in reverse, we would be um, turning the cylinder the way we'd want to cut. So what I'm going to do, is put the drill in forwards to reverse the reel. I know to reverse the reel, and then we can start adding. Um, then we can start adding our grinding compound. Now you don't need to be moving wicked mad quick with this. Um, just nice and slow, so we can get grinding. Just with your paintbrush. A little bit of the compound. Get to it. So when you put on your paste, try and get a nice even coverage across your reel. So that way um, you're not having more paste on one side than you do on the other, uh, therefore creating like an uneven, an uneven grind. Um, you might notice at the start it's quite loud, then after maybe 30 seconds, a minute, it starts to become a lot more quiet. Alrighty, so I don't know if I've cleaned this edge up here. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's a little bit more shiny. Now, if we had a look before, you know, it was a little bit more rusty. That's because it's been sitting there for a while and, you know, the, the metal is sort of oxidized. So you can see there that we've actually made quite a difference. So what I might do now is just turn both sides down one eighth of a turn, just a little bit, just so we've got a little bit more contact and then go again.
Alrighty, so there we go there. I reckon I'm done. What I might do is take this out the back, go and give it a quick gurney, get rid of all of that cutting compound that's on there, and then uh, and then we'll try and test it. All right, let's have a look, eh? Now we've got it back, what we might do is just check the cut and get it adjusted. Alrighty, there we go there, all done. So we've, we've got the old girl all sharpened up, ready for another season. I'll start laying some stripes for us. All we want to do now is uh, make sure we nip up these locking nuts and uh, she's ready to go. Now I'll double check this before we go um, cutting again because uh, the piece of paper was a little bit damp and I was trying to, uh, trying to adjust that up. But uh, yeah, all done. Alrighty, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. and. Uh, if you're keen, subscribe to the channel. You know, we've got some more lawn and garden content coming up. So, uh, yeah, we've got the reno that's uh, probably not too far away now, a couple of weeks. And uh, then we'll be kicking in the growing season. I'm super excited, eh? It's the best time of year. We've got a full growing season ahead of us. And, uh, yeah, lay down some stripes, get the lawn looking schmick. Uh, we're also over on Facebook. Check us out at The Green and Gold Life. All right, I'll chat you on.